Are you sick and tired of barbs that keep killing you on the idle? Well, this build might help you, so let's just get into it. First of all, with this build we still have a decent mobility and burst damage, thanks to Wave of Light and Mystic Strike. Now let's check out the essences we are gonna use. For the headpiece we are using Tranquility's Gaze, Inner Sanctuary now stuns and damages enemies that enter or exit the circle. With this essence we are gonna use Inner Sanctuary on the idol or in front of the idol, so barbs are not gonna move freely. They are gonna hit the walls of this inner sanctuary and they are gonna get stunned all the time. For the chest piece we are using Disciplined Respite, inner sanctuary cooldown decreased by 18%. This is just for cooldown reduction on inner sanctuary. For the shoulders we are using Shimmerlin, Wave of Light now releases a wave of energy that damages all enemies in its path and burns them. This is gonna be our main damage source, so this is really important. For the pants we are using the Traveling Scold, Mystic Strike now causes you to charge at targeted location, knocking up and damaging all nearby enemies. This is our second damage source and this is really good for moving around, so basically it's a movement skill too. For the main hand we are using Intervening Love, Shield of Zen now causes you to charge a target location, granting you and all nearby allies a shield that absorbs damage. This is really important too, when you got stuck into a CC chain, you can get out of it with this skill, with this essence. And for the offense, we are using this one, Inner Sanctuary duration increased by 39%. This is really important too, because it increases the duration of Inner Sanctuary, so it can stay longer. Okay, these are the essences we are gonna use, now let's check out our set items. For set items, I am using 4 piece Gloom's Guide. We have a lot of death skills, so this is gonna be activated all the time. For the other two set pieces, I am using Montebank. This makes me more tanky, that's why I choose this. For the family bonus, I am using Barrier Set, but you can use whatever you have already, it's not that crucial, so it's okay to use whatever you have already. Alright, that's all the details of this build, so I'm just gonna add some clips from Battlegrounds. And don't forget to leave your suggestions on the comment section and don't forget to subscribe. This is it for this video, see you guys soon, take care. I need to run around this inner sanctuary so they can get stuck into it. I want to be able to change my build when after I see my matchup. So if there is no barbs, what I'm gonna do with this build? I can go to my DPS or more damage build or things like that, you know? Even attacker's side requires different builds than defense side. After a couple months I'm gonna be playing Diablo, Diablo 4 but still. <laughs> Oops, you are dead. Oh, can I use my Zen? Thank you. Let's put this one here and heal up.
Damn, I didn't die. Nice. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> Man, I'm trying my best, but... B. This is really good against barbs. Die, please. Okay. I need my cooldowns right now. Like, fight right now. <laughs> okay, chase me. He's gonna die in there. But no one is on the idol. You want some? Come inside. 